hello students i hope you are safe and healthy in your home so now uh, we are again recollecting the same things about the mrs s daughter and second visit today in this video uh, we will think about the next second visit and in that second visit after my first visit in when to mrs darling's house i decided to try a second time and see here mrs s daughter decided a second time now she will visit the same place and in second visit what is the important thing happened now a girl of about uh, 15 opened the door to me i asked her if her mother was at home no she said my mother's doing an errand no matter i said i'll wait for her and she asked for the mother but mother was not there and she might be outside so here uh, mrs s daughter is saying that i'll wait for the mother i followed the girl along the passage and old fashion ayn a hanuka here meaning it is given uh, the feast of lights in a hebrew festival in december so here old fashion ayn hanuka candle holder uh, hung uh, next to i mean mirror we never used it because it was much more cumbersome than a single candlestick more much more cumbersome means large and heavy it was more large and uh, heavy so here mrs s daughter started remembering recollecting the memories and here it what was the important thing she is mentioning that we never used that the reason also stated it was much more cumbersome than a single heavy candlestick won't you sit down ask the girl now the hospitality of the mother and the hospitality of the girl it is totally different so we are observing that difference here see held open the door of the living room and i went inside uh, past her i stopped horrified so here she stopped and she was horrified to see how that all belongings uh, it was there and the condition of the belongings because of that she was horrified i was in a room i knew and did not know i found myself in the midst of the things i did want to see again but which oppressed me in a strange atmosphere <laughs> and here now the atmosphere it is strange why the condition of all these belongings it was not maintained so here uh, see is stating that it was the strange atmosphere or because of the tasteless way everything was arranged and because of the the way of arrangement the maintenance or how the key things suppose if it is your then you may keep it very uh, proper but if that belongings are somebody else sometime you may take that and you may keep somewhere and you may not maintain that things and that things may be very valuable things for the others but for you you may not give that much importance but you are greedy about that you should have also that but you are not maintaining because it is a fathers because of the ugly furniture or the muggy smell that hung there and ugly furniture muggy smell was also not good because it was not properly maintained again uh, we are observing uh, some important things here it is uh, stated i don't know but i scarcely dare 
to look around me. The girl moved the chair. I sat down and stared at the wooden table cloth. And she, she started uh, recalling all the things. And then she started thinking about all the belongings. So in that table cloth, I rubbed it. My fingers grew warm uh, from rubbing. I followed the lines of the pattern somewhere on the edge. Uh, there should be a burn mark that had never been repaired. And there, uh, somewhere that burn mark was there, never uh, been repaired again. So the condition of the belongings here, it was not at all good because uh, Mrs. Darling, she had not maintained all the uh, things sincerely. Then, <clears throat> my mother uh, will be back soon, said the girl. I have already made tea for her. Will you have a cup? Will you have a cup of tea? So here, uh, she is mentioning that. Thank you. I looked up. The girl put cups ready on the tea table. She had a broad back just like her mother. She poured uh, tea from a white pot. All it had was gold border on the lid and I remembered she opened a box and took some spoons out. So again what it means she used to take all the things from that box, suitcase and it was not properly maintained now. And now she will again uh, thought about the same belongings and here it is mentioned the, that's a nice box I heard my own voice it was a strange voice as though each sound was different in this room and it was the strange voice because the the thinking means she started recollecting because all that belongings were of the Mm, her mother and it was not maintained so her inner things here uh, psychologically uh, she was totally disturbed oh you know about them she had turned round and brought uh, me my tea she laughed my mother says it is antique we have got lots more she pointed round the room see for yourself and all that things are antique this is very uh, rare such type of things you may get so precious things and she was stating about that and see for yourself and you can see for yourself also all the things but the girl of the mrs means uh, mrs darling's daughter uh, she don't know about the the guest and who is that person because of that here yeah, we are observing the I had mm, no deed to follow her hand I knew which things she meant I just looked at uh, the still life over the tea table as a child had always uh, fancied the apple on the pewter plate we use it for everything she said and now uh, she is stating that we are means some belongings here we can observe that mrs darling she was regularly using but not maintaining and some as it is it was kept and it was not in the good condition once we even ate of the plates uh, hanging there on the wall i wanted uh, to so much but it wasn't anything special i had found the burn mark on the tablecloth and she uh, found the burn mark on tablecloth also the girl looked uh, questioningly at me yes i said uh, you get so used to touching all these uh, lovely things in the house you hardly look at them anymore you only notice between um, you only uh, notice when something is missing because it has to be repaired or because we have to lend it for example so here uh, whenever you will see 
something of your own then that state of mind you can observe and here also yes i said you get uh, to use to teaching all uh, these lovely things in house and you hardly look at them anymore at this expression it is also clearly understanding that house he was deeply involved in all the things and again i heard uh, the unnatural sound of my voice and i went on i remember my mother once asked me if i would help her polish the silver and here uh, she was recollecting the memories and the voice sometime you may start speaking to yourself and that the same voice again and again again and again uh, may reproach you for that and here also the same thing we are observing and the state of mind of the uh, mrs s daughter and what is that i remember my mother once asked me if i would help her polish the silver it was very long um, time ago and i was probably bored uh, that day or perhaps i had to stay at home because i was ill as she had uh, never asked me before i asked her which silver uh, she meant and she replied surprised and that it was on the spoons forks knives of course and that was the strange thing i didn't know uh, the cutlery uh, we ate of every day was silver so here the silver things in that it is uh, mentioned about the spoons uh, forks and knives also and here one more thing that is that was the strange thing that i didn't know the cutlery uh, atoms they used to uh, here cutlery we ate of every day was silver the girl laughed again i bet you don't know uh, it is either i looked uh, intently at her and here uh, the girl was innocent and uh, she laughed at that all the things then here now important uh, thinking will start and she would what would uh, be the decision of the mrs s daughter we can recognize and that decision here we are observing well do you know she hesitated she walked uh, to the sideboard and wanted to open the drawer mm. i will look it is in here i jumped up i was um, forgetting the time i must uh, catch my train and here suddenly something happened A new uh, here thing that mrs darling's daughter me also uh, surprised with the decision and here uh, i jumped off i was forgetting the time i must catch my train she had her hand on the drawer don't you want to wait for my mother actually she was uh, in the beginning of the time visit she said that okay i'll wait for the mother but now here the girl is asking the question uh, see don't you wait for my mother no i must go and here why she had taken decision to go so here no i must go i walk uh, to the door the girl pulled the door open i can find my own way as i walked down the passage i heard the jingling of spoons and forks and here now she had taken the decision to leave that place without taking the belongings and here why that decision she had taken some reasons also here mentioned that may not be also uh, correct but still uh, she has given some information about that at the corner of the road i looked up at the name plate marconi street uh, it said and again uh, the name plate and that the same here reference of the marconi street uh, number 46 again at the end also it is given marconi street it 
said it had been at number 46 the address was correct and C is here again reconfirming about the uh, title of the lesson that is the address and that it is still confirmed and now uh, here what happened but now I didn't want to remember it anymore and now she is stating that I don't want to remember this address anymore the reason would be I wouldn't go back there because the objects that are linked uh, in your memory with the familiar life of former times instantly lose their value when uh, served from them you see them again in strange surrounding and the value of the things now it is that all that things were not on the uh, proper place not in the uh, mrs s uh, house but it is in another person's house and that value of the all that things and now not uh, the thing means that when it would be there on the proper place the value would be more but it is not at all maintained and the greediness also it is more in that the lady so here i wouldn't go back there because the reason is the objects that are linked in, uh, in your memory with the familiar life of former times instantly lose their value the former times all that things were us and value of that things were also more because the, my mother was there mother used to maintain that and all the important belongings they were uh, properly maintained and now here lose their value when uh, severed uh, from them you see them again in strange surroundings and when you will observe the same things in very strange surrounding then uh, you may not think to go back to such type of surrounding again and what should I have done with them in small rented room uh, where a shred of uh, blackout paper still hung along the window and she is here stating that now she had taken the rented room and how I could accommodate uh, all the belongings on that um, place means the rented house no more than the handful of cutlery fitted uh, in the narrow table drawer and all the things narrow table drawer all the things it may not fit again in that rented place so, so now she has given some excuse but the real reason would be different i resolved not to forget the address of all the things i had to forget uh, that would be the easiest and she had taken the easiest way to forget the address to forget all that belongings even though it belongs to the uh, mother it was the belongings of the mother because it was kept in such a strange surrounding and it was not maintained properly and all that things so she had taken the decision and that decision was to uh, forget the address and we feel as a reader of the story that this ending is not at all appeal to the reader <laughs> so you may think um, about the ending you may uh, end the story as per your thinking that how um, what could be the uh, more opportunity for the mrs s daughter to resolve the problem she could resolve uh, the problem with multiple ways and that multiple ways you can continue the story you can have that uh, kind of new creative approach to design the ending of the story so here uh, in reading with inside questions have you come back said the woman i thought that no one had come back does this statement give some clues about the story if s what is that so here uh, this statement uh, it is uh, clearly signifying or reveals the character of the mrs Starling that she was selfish greedy and uh, 
trust was not there honesty was not observed here in the first lesson we have observed that two armenian boys they were poor but they were uh, following the hallmark of trust and honesty this is not at all here observed is total contrast means how human being uh, may behave with each other in this type of way here have you come back means she might be thinking that no one would come back because of the war situation and here again said the woman i thought that no one had come back and i thought that no one had come back and i may enjoy all the belongings whatever i have taken from the ss as does this statement give some clues of the story yes so we can uh, state that yes the clear view about the friendship this is totally the cheating and we can observe that if somebody would be greedy like this uh, may deny the recognition may not uh, think properly and here a uh, double standard nature also it is observed that she said that i feel regret cannot help you and it and when uh, it was not also convenient and don't meet so and she had cautiously closed the door all the things here we can observe that it was her selfish motive uh, to deny the recognition that was here uh, clearly observed and then second question the story uh, is divided into pre war and post war times what hardships do you think the girl underwent during these times so here uh, pre war situation uh, mother was there with her and due to the um, situation means they might be observing that the war may be approaching so some uh, here information it is given that mother decided to uh, give all that belongings to the old acquaintance that is mrs dorling and that mrs dorling she was living there the marconi street number 46 mother said to remember all that things and all the things it was the pre war condition and then uh, after means the post war year when there was a liberation means the freedom that time mrs s daughter decided to visit the place means the place is the marconi street number 6 uh, but there was a disapproval from the uh, mrs darling and she didn't recognize or she did not to recognize the mrs s daughter and that was the thing that she was denying to give means recognition is not there okay to give that things belongings to uh, her that was different part but at least uh, she had not uh, taken care of the friend his daughter she could say okay you keep it uh, keep that all belongings here i will take care of that but she had not taken the girl in so after the war some time when parents are not there and the alone girl she has to survive some time uh, such type of bad experiences mm, you may get so here uh, mrs s uh, daughters whatever uh, the hardship she underwent that you can write and you can state the both the visits and whatever her observation and how that things were kept in the surrounding and she horrified with that you can write all that hardships then and you can mention that uh, she now she was living in rented place also so whatever the points concern with the uh, question you can add then why did the narrator of the story want to forget the address so here uh, she had given one important information at the end of the story and that is the the value of the things now uh, it is decreased because it was not on the same place and the bonding of with that all the things it was great but uh, it was kept in such a surrounding such a strange surrounding mm, so Uh, that all the things lose the value uh, and 
now one more thing she was stating if i would uh, take that where i will keep it because she was living in a rented place but here one more uh, thing we can observe she might have taken the decision uh, about the same thing because the reason here uh, you can mention she was to means she was nervous from inside that how can someone would uh, behave with her also and may not maintain the uh, things which uh, they means you somebody would promise you and that if you will not keep the promise um, so as a human being uh, she had uh, taken the decision and what was the decision that i resolved to forget the address and she was mentioning that was the easiest way because if i would um, again and again think about that uh, i may get disturbed i may get disappointed uh, so it would it was the easiest way to forget that and that would be the um, proper way for her like that she was thinking but as a reader uh, we are not uh, till agree with her decision the address the next uh, question the address is a story of human predicament that follows war so here uh, yes we can uh, comment on the address is a story of human predicament that follows war so human predicament in a sense that uh, whenever mm, we have a nice life we are enjoying uh, our life suddenly Uh, because of the war because of such type of uh, man made disasters we have to lose all the things we have to take decision uh, to move all the things or shift our all belongings to somewhere and when we will shift somebody else may deny the things and all uh, means greediness and so we are observing selfish behavior we are observing we are observing that when the belongings are of others it may not be maintained properly and when the same person would come there and uh, due to the war situation everything would change that person may think uh, that how uh, the situation it is changed because of the war so here we have to think about the peace of the world uh, we should not uh, promote uh, war at any time we have to be calm quiet and think positively about the um, each and every one convince uh, others and if suppose if something would happen like that if uh, the war like a man made disaster would come uh, we should have the great bond and we should not uh, think negatively we should keep always the promise but in this human predicament uh, means we can say that everybody wants the more things and for that more things the money uh, or the wealth and we sometimes we may think negatively and we may uh, take the wrong path and we may not keep our all uh, things means the promise and to keeping promises the divine quality so we have to keep that promise whenever you will give promise to anyone so maintain the friendship love understanding hospitality so here the mrs darling's daughter she had given proper hospitality but the mrs uh, darling means nature she may not be from inside like this but the self selfish motive uh, may be in her mind due to that she might have behaved like this so all the story it is uh, moves around the human predicament so what you have to do uh, read the story carefully think in positive way and try to uh, write all the meanings using dictionary so i hope uh, that uh, you could have enjoyed the story only thing is as a reader we are not satisfied with the uh, ending of the story so you go through that and i would say uh, that you have to uh, keep your all notes uh, in proper way so it can be reviewed again thank you